Tasting Like a Boss, Outside Edition, Nighttime Edition. Still no twinkle lights up, but it'll happen eventually, I promise. I got Rolo Tomasi here. And just so you guys know, he has not been feeling well. He's not. He's getting older. He's not feeling so great. But so say a little prayer for Rolo. He is boss of bosses, a favorite puppy. He's a good little boy. But he's going to be with me tonight. Right, buddy? That's right. And of course, it has to be a tonight review. It has to be a night review because we're doing, yes, from dusk till donuts. And before we even get started, I don't even know if this is going to be good. I've never had it. I haven't had it in any of the versions we're about to try at all. But I can tell you what. Look at that cover right there. I can tell you that Bones, besides their coffee being great, which I've always said it is. And yes, I have my Bones hat on. Do not work for Bones, just like their coffee. I love their graphics department. But whenever they do these uh, covers where, as opposed to just saying the flavor, they do a a Bones Coffee Company production like this here, and they make it like 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 a marquee for a uh, a, a 50s B movie or something like that. That's great. And of course, what are they doing here? Well, of course, it's a spoof of the 1996 Dust Till Dawn. And if you haven't seen it, just see it. It's not for your kids or anything like that. It's nothing to go. It, we're not dealing with high art. We're not doing anything like that. But you're dealing with a movie. In case you haven't seen it where it's written by Quentin Tarantino, directed by Robert Rodriguez. At least that's what they say. But if you've ever seen the movie, it's as if the first half of the movie is a Quentin Tarantino movie, by the way, which has Quentin Tarantino in it. Uh, he does that a lot, but this is probably his best one with George Clooney. And you get to a halfway mark in the movie, and then the movie, boom, turns into a completely different movie. So if I were to guess, I would think, Quentin Tarantino wrote the first half, Robert Rodriguez wrote the second half, and it's just batshit crazy <laughs> after the second half. So, it, 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 I'm not, again, not going to say it's the best movie ever made, but if you go in with the right attitude, it's hilarious, it's gory, it's over the top, it's ridiculous, it's, it's crazy. So, a cool Quentin Tarantino movie in the front, a batshit crazy Robert Rodriguez movie in the end, pretty sweet. So, anyway, we're going to be doing a three-way review like we always do. We're going to be trying it cold brew. We're going to be trying it drip and on the drip. Yes, I have the rough weather. Oh, I've been looking forward to using this one. My rough weather mug from the Nightmare Before Christmas mugs that Bones has. So I'm excited. I didn't get all of them, but I had to get myself the rough weather. And you know what? Usually, I've been doing the Taylor Swift things on the espresso or the espresso thing. But you know what? No, 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 no. Today, I decided to cloak myself in things I love because I wasn't feeling so hot yesterday. And as a result, you know, I didn't do a review because if I'm not feeling so hot, how can I taste the coffee, right? But no, I'm, I'm feeling a, a lot better. So I've got here from the peach stand from my, what I like to call my hometown of Fort Mill, South Carolina, TGK, South Carolina. The peach stand, if you're ever there, that's great. Otherwise, look them up online. We got the espresso in that mug today. And shirt-wise, uh, yeah, uh, if you don't know what this is, that's your own problem. Look up pitch meetings. Look up Ryan George. He doesn't need my support. The guy's got like a million followers. But educate yourself, my friends. I'll put a little link in the bottom for both the peach stand and this. And uh, I'm not going to do anything for dust till dawn. You can look it up yourself. All right, so let's get right to the smell, all right? So, oh, it's okay, Rollsies. Hold on. Okay. Well, what's it supposed to smell like? It's supposed to smell like a glazed jelly donut. And what does it smell like? A glazed jelly donut. Done. Done. Actually, my wife smelled this uh, yesterday when I opened it to make the cold brew. And she knew right away exactly what it was. So, scent-wise, nailed it. Nailed it. So, already, if you like the graphic and you want something that smells like it, it's a win. But let's move to the flavor, right? All right. Trying a cold brew, tasting like a boss. Dust till donuts. Come here, Rollsies. Be here for me, okay? You gonna protect me? Let's do it. All right. Okay.
that's an interesting one. Um, hmm. Okay. So it starts out <clears throat> with a flavor that does indeed taste like what it's supposed to taste like, like a glazed donut. Um, you're getting the, I guess it's a raspberry flavor, cherry flavor, the tartness, you know, you've got that. There's enough of that little, I don't know if it's cinnamon sugar to make it feel like the glaze on top of a, a donut. Um, it's, it's good. So I would say I would definitely do this as a cold brew. However, I have to be very honest, at the end of the taste, there's a little bit of a chemical aspect. It's not overbearing. Hmm. Okay. I know what to If you've ever tried the peanut butter and jelly bones uh, coffee, imagine that with the peanut butter removed. But at the end, there's this just a little, it's slightly annoying. I won't lie. I can still get it. But I wish there wasn't that slight aftertaste at the end. It doesn't ruin the experience or anything, but I, I just have to point it out to you guys. It's definitely there. So is it a thumbs up? It's a thumbs up, but there's something at the end I can't quite place. Hmm. Kind of tastes like a chemical at the end. So thumbs up, just not maybe enthusiastically. I think I'd probably go with a peanut butter and jelly over this one, but uh, that being said, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kick it out of bed, right? <laughs> so, uh, thumbs up, just not enthusiastic. All right, let's move to the drip. All right, now I can tell you guys right now, this drip coffee makes the house smell like jelly donuts. I mean, if I didn't know that I was just brewing this, I would have thought someone brought home some jelly donuts. Uh, and then I'd be pissed off when I came downstairs and found out there weren't any. So, tastes like a boss. Here's the drip. Huh. The flavor's a bit diminished on the drip. It's still there. But interestingly enough, it has sort of that same chemical end. Hmm. I don't really know what that's all about. So, this is a, for me, not a ringing endorsement on the drip. Sort of a thumb sideways situation. Let me, let me think. The flavor is so diminished here that I'm not sure if I would know that this is a jelly donut uh, coffee. So, so far, if you're getting it for drip, I'm not sure if I'd go that way. That's just for me. Uh, but, you know, I'm a cold brew guy. What are you going to do? So, so thumbs up on the, on the cold brew, thumbs sideways on the drip. And let's move to the espresso. All right, from the peach stand again, Fort Mill, love you. All right, tasting like a boss. No, 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 no. That's sour from the moment it hits the tongue all the way through, carries through. You can't taste the flavor on that at all. And by the way, please understand, the, these are just my opinions, okay? If you want to try, you can. But I can tell you with this one here, remember, not every coffee is supposed to be made every version, right? This, again, I'll do it again. <laughs> Mostly because I love the peach stand. And it's just, so, it's so, it's so sour. Just don't, don't emphatically no that is a big thumbs down there's no reason to do that that's a waste of the coffee okay if you're gonna get it get it for the cold brew okay 
Uh, but while we're here, just to make it fun, and Rolo, how you doing, buddy? Yes, okay. And this is a tip from Boss of Boss. When she was smelling the coffee, she said, you know, it smells like jelly donut, but it actually tastes like something else. And then she, boom, blew my mind. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these or not, but the, you'll find in the international section at Publix or whatever grocery store you go to. <sighs> Jammy Dodgers, okay? <laughs> now, I can tell you, I'm not a, a shortbread cookie guy, and I'm not a fruity cookie guy, but this is a shortbread fruity cookie from England, I guess. And uh, it's awesome. It, it, it's just... These are awesome. And she said it smells like these. You know what? She's right. It does smell just like these. So I'm going to open this bad boy Rolo. Or what do you think, buddy? Okay. So we've got... There's your jammy Dodger right there. You got your raspberry filling. You got your cookie. And you know what? It smells just like the Dust Till Donuts. Because I can't have a... Uh, a jelly filled donut every day that's not my thing i can't i can't do that i gotta stay svelte keep the fat in my face but keep the rest of my body svelte so let's try this again with the drip okay because it does smell heavenly may not taste like i want but we can do the jammy dodger and give it a little dip you know what Mm. It might just because jammy chargers are great, but hmm, let's say. Oh yeah, okay. Well, jammy Dodgers have saved the day. So my suggestion is this: get yourself a bag of uh, dust till donuts. The cover is awesome. It's awesome. Just have it. Make it for drip. Make it for cold brew. Cold brew is the better of the two. Make either one. And then when you make it, serve it with a jammy dodger. Dip it in and have your mind blown, okay? So anyway, hit subscribe. Hit alerts. We got another review coming up tomorrow. Another fall review. That's right. Rollo's here to say hey. Hey. Thank you guys for everything. Until next time, keep tasting like a boss. Boom!